Recently, I have encountered an issue with the NVIDIA GeForce overlay not functioning properly. It can be quite frustrating when essential features fail to work as expected. However, fret not, let's tackle this problem together. Here are some troubleshooting steps that help me resolve the issue. So these steps will help you to fix your problem. First of all, if the NVIDIA GeForce is popping up like this one, then that's good what you need to do next here you need to go into the settings and you need to make sure your in game overlay is enabled if it's not enabled that's the reason you are not getting the overlay for recording so you need to enable this and in case if while enabling this if you are facing any issue once you can restart your pc but before restarting your pc you need to make sure that you are using the exact drivers for that you need to click on the windows search icon and then you need to search here for the device manager and then open it once you open this you will see here the display adopters just expand it and then right click on your exact external gpu drivers and then go into the properties then drivers then you can see here the driver date and the driver version so make sure you need to choose the latest driver just click on the update drivers browse my computer let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer so as you can see here I have a lot of drivers related to my exact GPU the external GPU so currently in my case it's already latest version as you can see 4 to 2024 which is the date and the version but if you are facing on the latest version then you can go one step back and then click on next to install the this these drivers it will solve your issue and then restart your pc and after restarting your pc you can just re-enable the nvidia overlay from geforce then settings and then in game overlay option just enable this option this will solve your issue a lot of pupils are facing their nvidia geforce is not popping up the nvidia control panel is popping up but the nvidia geforce is not working so for that you can try the second method that will solve your issue what you can do here open any browser and then search here for ddu uninstaller now this is the website I will provide the link in the description but simply you can search it on Google DDU uninstaller and you'll get this website on top with Google search engine. Once you open this you need to choose any server to download the display adopter. Make sure choose the closer one that close to your country so it, it will help you to download fast. Anyways, once you click on the download, it will start downloading automatically. Just click on start download. And after downloading, open folder. Once you get into the exact destination, just right click on the zip file. Then use the WinRAR and extract it into the same folder. So it will be easier to navigate the exact folder again. Now open it. You will see here the DDU installer. Just double tab on it and then click on extract make sure remember the location and then click on extract now here we have the tool just open it once you open this now display driver and installer just double tab on it and launch it once you launch this a pop-up will appear just click on ok and then close this one because uh, we need to uninstall the driver so it's easier just click here on the select device type we are uninstalling the gpu and then choose the graphic drivers that you want to uninstall of course it's uh, nvidia once you choose here the nvidia simply you need to click here clean and restart highly recommended now trying to create a re system restore point after this it will automatically uninstall the gpu drivers and your pc will restart automatically after uninstalling the gpu from gpu drivers from your pc so guys here we are back now 
after uninstalling you need to open the google chrome browser or any browser and then search here nvidia drivers and hit enter now go on the first top website which is www.nvidia.com and then download once you are here you need to find your product i'm using geforce so select here the geforce product series in my case i'm using geforce 10 series now the product choose here your graphic card and now operating system i'm using windows 11 so i'm choosing here the windows 11 then download type game ready drivers if you are a gamer you can go with the game ready drivers grd and if you are an editor or content creator then you can go with the studio driver for better latency and performance in my case i'm going with game ready drivers and then click on search once you are here the version is mentioned over here release date is as well system as well language and everything just click on the download and then download again click on start Alright guys, now here is the main thing, NVIDIA graphic drivers and GeForce experience and NVIDIA graphic drivers only. We will go with the first option, NVIDIA graphic drivers plus GeForce, right? And then click on agree and continue. Now express or custom, you can go with the custom if you want, I like express version. Now after reinstalling the NVIDIA graphic card drivers, your problem should be fixed 100% whether it's not opening the GeForce or maybe the issues uh, related to the overlay, it will be solved 100% because I was facing recently so now in my case it's working fine, hopefully your problem should be fixed. If you have any question please let me know in the comment section, see you in the next video, Allah Hafiz, bye bye.